While GE plans to use CO2 pollution to make giant solar batteries, you may have missed the biobots that look innocent now, the 3D remodel for Nintendo classics, and the plan to get more life from existing satellites. The beautiful total lunar eclipse over Indonesia made flights divert their routes just to see it, but makes people like me watch the full Total Eclipse of the Heart music video and get emotionally confused. Little bit terrified, but then I see the look in your eyes. It's in case you missed it. If you thought the giant floating trash heap in the middle of the Pacific was a mess, you should see all the space junk orbiting our planet. NASA and Orbital ATK think they've got a solution for all the retired satellites still just spinning around up there. They want to power them back up with specially designed packs called Mission Extension Vehicles. The MEVs connect to otherwise dead satellites and extend their operation by as much as 15 years. We'll see how it goes when they launch the first MEV in 2018. We know, your old Nintendo classics didn't really get the 3D treatment they deserved. Virtual Boy, see it now in 3D. And now a new emulator from Geode Studio called 3D NES promises to deliver where the Game Boy 3DS hasn't. According to the developer, the 3D NES uses a custom algorithm to separate flat backgrounds into 3D objects of all shapes in real time. Take heed, brave gamer. The Unity-based emulator runs only in Firefox and is optimized for Super Mario Brothers. So Mario might look great, but more complex games, still a hot mess. Come on, Simon, get your shit together. I know, this looks like an overgrown inchworm, but it represents big stuff for both science and engineering. It's a biological machine that can be controlled with electrical or optical signals while using its own muscle tissue for power. The Frankenstein experiment was funded by the National Science Foundation. Right now, researchers are focused on biobots that mimic the body, but think they could also replace animals used in drug tests. Oh, I love doing that but I always forget to buff the chrome. See ya, Pinky. Or be used to detect and neutralize toxins in the environment. And finally, YouTube user Alexei Mishchenko caught an ostrich chasing down bicyclists for what feels like a real long time. He just needed rocket skates. Quick programming note, we're taking the show to South by Southwest starting this weekend, so make sure to watch.